today I'm going to be making a flan. I say flan and I may say flan a lot during this video. I don't know, but I think actually it's pronounced flan. I'm not even really sure, but it's a flan to me. So anyway, this is such a yummy recipe. I've had this recipe for a very long time. Used to make it in my oven. Now I make it in my Instapot so much quicker and it's oh so yummy. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get started on flan or flan. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and get started caramelizing the sugar. Now this is something that you have to pay very close attention to. You cannot leave it. You cannot stop stirring it because it will burn just like that once it starts to caramelize. It goes very, very quickly. But I have my pan over here that I'm going um, to be putting the caramelized sugar in. And this is going to fit down into my Instapot. I ordered it especially for that. I got this from Amazon. But it's amazing. You do not have to spray this or prepare it in any way. It's ready to accept the caramelized sugar. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put my sugar in the pan. This is a half a cup of sugar. And I'm going to be melting it. And this is really the hardest part. And it's not really hard, but it is the hardest part. It's the most intimidating part of um, making uh, flan. So um, pay attention to it. Keep it stirred. As it starts warming up, you will notice it will start clumping up in little bits. And uh, you want to put this on like a medium heat, not very high. But it will start clumping up into little bits. Uh, looks like little chunks of rock almost. And then all of a sudden, ba bam it is nice and melted and ready to go into the pan. So I'm uh, just going to wait here patiently and stir and stir so it does not burn. So as you can see, it's starting to clump up and it's not going to be very long now. It's going to be a nice golden brown. Okay, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful caramelized sugar. We're going to go ahead and pour it right into um, my pan here. See if I can jiggle this around so you can see it. It's going to go right in uh, to the pan. All of it. Just pour it all around the bottom of the pan. Now this is very, 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 very hot. <laughs> So be very careful. Uh, you may want to grab some pot holders to do this because your pan will heat up. We're just going to um, move that sugar all the way around the pan until it stops moving. So we're going to bottom coat it really well. And also if you've got any that's still moving, you can start bringing it up. I'm sorry, you can't see that very well. But you're going to start bringing it up the sides of the pan. Just take your time because, oh my goodness, this stuff will burn you really bad. I'm, I'm totally getting it out of the frame, but I'm trying to get it in the all the sugar around. I hope you can see portions of this anyway. And let's just keep moving it, your, your sugar around until it stops moving. You can still kind of see it moving there uh, on the bottom section. I'm trying to get that covered up the sides as much as I can because you just want a very thin, thin shell of sugar. Okay, so it stopped moving, so I'm going to stop trying to make it move because it stopped on its own. Now we're just going to let this cool down really, really well while we mix up all the ingredients. It's going to pour right on top of all this caramelized sugar yumminess. So I'm going to mix up uh, the ingredients for the flan in my blender. If you don't have a blender, that's okay. You can use a hand mixer or a stand mixer, whatever you have. Okay, so into um, my blender here is going to go four eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla, one can of evaporated milk, it can be any brand that you like, one can of uh, sweetened condensed milk, a yumminess right there. Okay. Also, we're going to add one cup of whole milk and one fourth cup of sugar. And also four ounces of cream cheese uh, that's soft, it's come to room temperature. Now we're just going to blend this all together, nice and well incorporated. Okay, now that's all well incorporated, mixed together really, really well. And we're going to go ahead and 
pour it on top of all our caramelized sugar. So our caramelized sugar is all cooled down and now it's ready to go ahead and put the flan mixture in. But as you can see, I wanted to show you, as the caramelized sugar cools down, it is going to crack. It's gonna pop and it's gonna make a lot of noise, but that's okay, it's not a big deal at all. So no worries if you see this. We'll go ahead and put in the mixture. I'm just gonna pour it right in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it. And we're going to close it up. Now we're ready to get it into the Instapot. Okay, so I'm gonna add three cups of water um, to the Instapot. Um, I have a trivet that fits down into my Instapot and I'm gonna set this um, flan right on my trivet and it's gonna be easier uh, to get it down in there because you do not want this part, um, this flan pan, to sit right on the bottom of your Instant Pot. So that's gonna slide right down in there like that. There we go. So everything's nice tucked down in there. And we're ready to go ahead and put the lid on and start this process. Okay, it's gonna be in this Instapot for about 16 minutes. Here we're gonna put pressure cook. Make sure it's on high. And we're gonna up our minutes till, um, did I say 15? I meant 16, 16 minutes. Okay, so I've uh, set my vent to ceiling and we're gonna leave it for 16 minutes with an NPR and NPR means a natural pressure release. That means it releases its pressure all by itself. I don't speed it up by uh, releasing the pressure myself. So we're gonna wait for a while. Now when this comes out, it has got to go in the refrigerator overnight and I'm not even gonna peek. Oh, that's always so hard to do. Now we just have to wait for this pin to drop Okay, time to get the flan out of the Instapot. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out of the Instapot and I'm gonna leave it sitting on the counter for about 20 minutes. Then we'll put it in the refrigerator overnight and tomorrow we'll get to finish this video. sitting in the fridge all night and now we get to open it. Yay! Oh, yummy! Oh my goodness, it looks fabulous. All right, let's get a plate and dump it upside down. Oh my goodness, that's the scary part. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take a knife and we're just gonna loosen it around the edges so it hopefully falls out of the pan. Nice and easy. To me, this is the scariest part. Not the caramelizing of the sugar, but <laughs> getting it out of the pan. That's the scary part for me. All right, so we've gone around and we've loosened it all from the sides. It looks fabulous. I cannot wait to taste it. Um, but anyway, 
turned out beautiful. So excited. Love it when the flan comes out perfect. Look at that. Yummy. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and taste it. But I wanted to tell you that uh, when you store this uh, flan, be sure you store it in the refrigerator. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Look at it, isn't it beautiful? I just love it when something turns out and it's beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> you know, I have tasted this many times but I will never get over that very first bite. It is so fabulous, so smooth and creamy and very, very sweet. <laughs> but anyway, let me sit this over here so I don't drop it. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope that you uh, will try the flan and make it. It is fabulous. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.